All right, we have Georgia Southern taking on South Alabama. South Alabama is home. Praise the South Alabama gods. Last week, we thank thee for the outright win at Mississippi State. A lot of Dr. Peppers, cases and barrels of Dr. Peppers being sent their way. Uh, They won the game outright. It was the biggest bet of my season so far. And had 55 to 1 on the money line, and I will top the hell out of that. I don't care. It, it, it was a good win. They were down like 17 0 2 in horrible fashion. They were they shanked like two 20 yard field goals, let one go back for a touchdown the other way. Was worried for a second, maybe at the end of the first half, that we wouldn't even get a cover, and then uh, they ended up winning the game anyway. So, love them. Actually like him again here. It's a terrible spot, though, uh, but the number's extremely high. It's one of the bigger, or I should say, worse numbers uh, that's currently on the board that I haven't bet myself. Uh, I had it like a touchdown, <laughs> and they're getting 13. And it, it's moved up. I know it opened even lower. Uh, some places was like 10, the you know the, the early, early openers, and then uh, 12, most most shops. And now it's up to 13, a couple 13 and a halves even. And uh, the total at 60 has moved down to 57.5 or 58. Um, so anyway, that's the background on this line. But let me tell you, wow, there is a 14 if you bet at Bovada. Jeez. I, and Bet Online has a 14 now. I don't get it. I don't. The number should be like 6.5. South Alabama's good. As we can see, it wasn't like fluky maybe that they won the game outright. But like the biggest play of my season will probably be you know, that game getting 30 points uh i just went and cashed the game of the year ticket yesterday if, that i bet like um at south point when they opened their week one numbers it was the only week one game i bet well, where i thought it was worthwhile to to limit bet a few times and have a few thousand dollars just tied up for a couple months uh it was that easy and it worked out but why they're getting so many points here at home is feels really weird to me and i don't want to give back what i won last week so i guess this is what i'm telling you guys I don't have the balls to bet them. You should, though. It's a bad number. You're going to be covering this game way more often than not. Georgia Southern's head coach, Fritz, Flitz, Fritz, Fritz, uh, don't remember his last name. I think it's Fritz. Anyway, he's gone. He's left, uh, and I think he's at Tulane now. And so their new head coach, I mean, they still, they're still a huge question mark. Like, how are they going to respond? That guy's done wonders. I think before he was at Georgia Southern, he was at Sam Houston State, uh, who was like an FCS power as much as you can be if you're not North Dakota State. Uh, and then that's why he went to Georgia Southern and, you know, did the same thing, flipped their seasons or team program around, and now Tulane trying to do the same thing. Uh, he's a big loss. And when you play an FCS school like they did in week one and crushed them, it doesn't really tell me much. Uh, and it might have even not even been FCS. It might have been, like, Division three. So this is, like, pretty pretty big, you know, how legit is Fritz or whatever the hell his name is. And how legit is South Bama? So for me, it's uh, too big of a question mark. And honestly, I just think I'm kind of a pansy and don't want to give back any of my South Bama money. So if you wanted a play that I'm not even giving to clients that I think wins, that I, for some reason, can't bet. Although now that at four, or 14, to be honest, I'll probably make like a half bet there because that's, oh, especially a team that's like an option team that just like breaks runs all the time. Like I feel like Georgia Southern never gets field goals. <laughs> I'd have to look that up. I could be completely wrong. And now I'm just rambling. But they're like an option team that either just like marches you down methodically and you're just tired on your toes and they score a touchdown or they'll break a run for 70 yards and score a touchdown. I feel like there's a pretty big difference for whatever reason in Georgia Southern games from a 13 to 14. I'm just trying to convince myself to freaking bet South Bama again. Uh, You heard it here. I probably am going to be adding 14 now for a smaller play uh, if you guys want some extra action. I think that's the right side. I'm going to cut this one, finish the other videos. Uh, I'll see you on the next game.